Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Hey guys, I got a little time saver for you here today in today's quick tip. What I'm going to do is show you a way to keep your buckets of drywall mud and such from drying out. And if you've got like bags of hot mud, you know how easy it is to ruin one of them with a little bit of moisture. I'm going to show you how to solve all that right after this. Hey, thanks for stopping by here at that Kilt Guy videos here on YouTube. This is our how-to channel where we are going to teach you guys how to do your own home improvement projects, home repair, and give you a lot of little tips along the way. Because it's my goal to teach you how to do it yourself, save some money, and take pride in your workmanship. So if you like our videos, be sure and click on that subscribe button. Otherwise, you won't know when we put out the next video. And if you click that bell icon, that'll notify you each time we do. Now... I've done drywall a long time, uh, over 30 years, and one of the problems was keeping my mud from drying out. Now it's not too bad on the job. You can throw a piece of sheetrock over it, take your empty mud bag, drape over it, things like that. But what about when you got to go to the next job? I started doing patches and repairs about 15 years ago. So a lot of times I was working on two, sometimes three jobs a day, and often just one job today and then another one tomorrow. And trying to transport all these buckets of water and mud and all that, it was a mess because I'd put a little water on top of my mud, take off, and it was slosh all over. And it was just hard to keep it from drying out, spilling everywhere. It was just really annoying. Then I had another problem, bags of hot mud. Yeah, for those of you that use hot mud, you know that you add water to it. Once you add water to it, there's no turning back. It hardens, period. So if your bag gets wet, it seeps in there, hardens a little bit. Then you go to mix it up and you get these hardened chunks in there. They break up and you get scratches. It can ruin a whole bag of mud. So there was another problem. And then doing patches and repairs, I wanted to quit having to go chase down a bucket of water on every single job. I wanted to be able to carry water with me. Well, I solved that with one product. And I'll put a link to this product down in the description down below. They're not very much at all. Because you take this bucket and you, you try and travel with it, it's a mess. So, here's the solution. These are screw-on lids. Now I've got about six of these in my trailer because I keep uh, everything in it. This one is my um, regular joint compound and you can see the lids just screw right off and these lids have a gasket if I can pull that loose you can see there's a gasket right there so they actually seal up nicely are they completely leak proof no not a hundred percent if you have a bucket of water and it tips over it will leak out but very slowly I've had them tip over and by the time the next day came around it had all leaked out but if it just tips over and you catch it within a minute or two very little leaks so they're really pretty efficient and the way these work is you buy this and this together and then you snap this over the the bucket and it's on here for good it will not come off that's the disadvantage because if your bucket breaks or something like that you pretty much have to throw this away but for about eight dollars these usually last me years it's three four five years so they're pretty cheap so i have one for my drywall mud that way i show up the next job it's already pre-mixed ready to go and it's not dried out i've got one for water i can walk out into my trailer get water out mix up hot mud clean my tools up i don't have to go hunt for it i've got three of them for hot mud i got five minute 20 minute 45 minute that way i'm always ready to go on hot mud it never goes bad it's convenient, it doesn't spill, I don't have bags tearing all over. And then I've got one for texture. I keep some texture mixed up. I don't have to stop and mix up texture every time. So that can save you a lot of time. Okay, here's my daily video question. Comment below and let us know if you've ever used any of these or how you've dealt with this issue before. 
And did you know you can use these for pet food? And be sure and use the hashtag do it right. So check them out. They're in the link down below in the description. I hope that helped you out. If you like my tip, be sure and give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Click that bell icon, all them good things, because I look forward to helping you guys on the next video. And I'll see you then. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind.